Welcome to our first Meet the Chiefs Monday on Blue Rock Energy Social Media Monday. You asked your questions for Chief starting pitcher Ryan Tatusco on Twitter and Facebook, and Ryan is kind enough to answer them right now. I'll How are you, sir? Doing all right. I'll do my best to answer them. Now, since it's Social Media Monday, where can we follow you on social media? Oh, man. Um, Facebook and Twitter. Um, at Ryan Tatusco. A little shameless plug. He needs some followers, so that, that'd be the biggest one. It's T-A-T-U-S-K-O. Yeah, very nice. Yes. It's, I've only been covering you for three years. I know how to spell your name. And you just got it right last week. That's right. I kept putting in three S's. <laughs> All right, first question. This is uh, uh, These first ones are from Twitter. This is from M. Shemeldine. 15, or M. Shelmadine, 15. I never said I was going to pronounce this right. <laughs> How great is it to represent Indiana State? Hashtag, go Sycamores. Yes, go Trees. Um, I don't know if I represent Indiana State. I mean, we, we kind of have a famous alumnus basketball player. That, uh, that Magic was Johnson. Right? Magic Johnson, yes. We actually, that's a sore subject around Terre Haute. I don't know <laughs> if you want to mention that name when you come, um, but, you know, Larry Bird, uh, feels good. Um, always love going back to Terre Haute and seeing the baseball team, and, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed my four years there. It was great. Why'd you go there? I went there um, for the coach when I was there. Uh, the coach has been there for about 40 years, and he had a great track record of getting guys drafted, and this was my dream, so I, that was the best place for me. All right. Absolutely. From Zachary L-O-E-S-L, Losel, or Zachary Lowe's one, maybe? Uh, if you weren't a baseball player, you would be a... Uh, ooh. Um, that's a good question. It was a great question. I would say coach. Um, I love... I give... Lessons in the off season in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, I love working with kids, and you know I've I have a couple kids that I've worked with have got some college scholarships, and that was really fun to kind of be a part of. So I would definitely I would be probably an amateur coach. How about if you weren't involved in baseball at all? I wasn't involved in baseball at all. Um, I would like to do something CIA FBI. Something cool for you. That'd be great. I think it'd be a lot of fun. You know? How about that? Just double O to Tuscan. Some some. Look. It has a ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Perfect. I think you could replace Daniel Craig. Uh, <laughs> M.T. Levelin wants to know, have you ever tried salt potatoes? I did, actually, a couple weeks ago. Um, and? Too salty. Obviously, it's in the name. Uh, I, I think it's one of those... Sort of an expectation. Right. I think it's one of those uh, inherited tastes uh, that you have. But, yeah, um, not bad, but I, it's not something that I would request. So. From uh, capital D, lowercase j, underscore, Rosa, all caps. What is your favorite sport to watch besides baseball, and what is your favorite team in that sport? I'm a huge Chicago Bears fan. Yeah. Um, for football, yes. I grew up uh, in northwestern Indiana, so Bulls, Bears, Blackhawks, and Cubs were was the team, and I still got fond memories of sitting with uh, my great grandfather with the TV on mute because he was convinced that all sportscasters had no idea what they were talking about, and uh, so we would uh, we would watch the games on mute and we'd always watch the Bears games, and so you know uh, I grew up a huge Bears fan. I'm living proof that many sportscasters <laughs> have no idea what they're talking <laughs> That's about. That's right. Uh, we're uh, talking to Ryan Tesco. It's our Blue Rock Energy Social Media Monday. Meet the Chiefs. Jared Wicks, 86, big fan, wants to know what your favorite stadium is to play in. My favorite stadium to play in uh, in AAA would probably be Indianapolis, just because yeah. I get to be around my family. You know, I, it's been fun the last two years to have a couple hundred people at the game, you know, to, to do this. So I would definitely say Indy. You pitch well in each of those games as well. Yes, I was very happy to be able to do that. Uh, notorious B.O.B., this is apparently somebody you know. Yes, good friend of mine. underscore Bob. If you could add one pitch to your arsenal that you do not currently throw, what would it be? There is a right answer here. I hope you know that. There is a right answer. Um, C. We no, 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 it's not oh, multiple choice. Oh, it's not multiple choice. Oh, no. man. Ooh. Misunderstanding, um, I know. I would say a sinker. Um, say knuckleball. Nah, on. nah. No? No, it's, it's, that's one of those. Throw a 92, you go out there, and then you knuckleball every like fourth a, pitch. Nobody's going to see it coming. You know what? I've always wondered why nobody, like, how come, like, some guy who doesn't throw a 100 just... Throw knuckleball. Yeah, how, how unbelievable would that be? Twice a start. Yeah, just knuckle like Verlander. Knuckleball, yeah. knuckleball, 101. He'd be the greatest pitcher alive. I love it. But I would say Seager for me. All right. Uh, Energy Wiz wants to know, uh, he says the stadium seems to have a new atmosphere. Do the players feel a change as well? Absolutely. Um, you know, last night, you know, we had, we had some great crowds, you know, for Armed Forces Day. Um, and, which was, you know, unbelievable. And then, uh, you know, last night, it kind of seems like as the weather's warming up, people are starting to come out. So, 
you know, kudos to the uh, to the management for, for getting out there and getting the name out because we definitely can feel it. All right, our final question is from Facebook from Ken Whiteman. Ryan, he asks, what has been your most exciting moment as a baseball player? Besides this interview. Besi Ooh, give me for a loop. Uh, my most exciting moment um, as a baseball player, uh, number one would be to get drafted. Uh, that was an unbelievable moment, and I would say a close second was um, I've had one opportunity to take a no-hitter to the ninth inning uh, in high A, and I'll, although, I'm, although I lost it uh, with one out in the ninth, that was probably playing-wise as a professional, my most exciting game that I think I've thrown. Did you finish the game out? I did. I wound up finish the game out. Um, the guy got a base hit, and ironically, the very next pitch, I still remember it was a slider down and away, and he grounded into a double play. Yeah. So, so you know, that was it. it that was it. Um, you know, I just needed the last two more pitches, and, you know, it should have been there. But um, playing wise professionally, that was that was the greatest moment I've had. So, pretty darn good. Ryan Tatesco, thanks for being our guinea pig here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Our first ever Blue Rock Energy Social Media Monday Meet the Chiefs with Ryan Tatesco.